Okay, what's up, YouTube? I'm back with another video. And in this video, we're going to be breaking down the signs and symbols that the celebrities use, that people come up with and say that they're devilish. Like when they make the pyramid sign, you know what I'm saying? When they do these gestures, you know what I'm saying? With the pyramid, things like that. When you see stuff like this, right? You say, it's, that's the devil. That's, that's devilish, right? See, the celebrities know what it is, but you niggas don't know what it is. So you automatically assume it's devilish, right? Because you niggas don't read nothing, right? So you gotta have a real nigga like me come on here and break this stuff down for you and read, right? So women, you can buy this book online right now for like five bucks. The Women's Dictionary of Symbols and Sacred Objects by Barbara Walker. And before I start, I wanna ask how many of you people, how many of you niggas, the 21st has passed, how many of you all got superpowers? Did your, did your superpowers activate? Because if it didn't activate, that means that means you all got tricked into, into some bullshit. And you fell for the okie doke. Niggas think you actually finna be walking through walls, flying in the air. You are crazy. You're crazy. So, what I wanna do is we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, um, so when you see this, when you see like, we just using Rihanna for an example, and you see her with the, in a triangle, you know what I'm saying? You see her inside of it. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna break that down and tell you what that actually stands for. What are these celebrities actually doing when they make these, these hand gestures? Okay. So before we do that, we're gonna go to the first word, devil. Right? I'm gonna go to the word devil. Right here. And it says, it has been truly said, quote, the devil is the curse of those who have abandoned the goddess. Even his name was derived ultimately from the Sanskrit Devi, meaning goddess, through Persian, Devi, and Latin, Deva. See that? Patriarchal Europe always confused woman with devil, her genitalia with the mouth of hell. Her very motherhood with the with the vehicle of original sin, it says, and male artists often painted or sculpted the Christian devil with female breasts. The devil was deliberately constructed by the Christian church for good reasons having to do with another kind of confusion that equated him with God. It says the God of Isaiah, who claimed to be the creator of evil, was no more acceptable to Christian theology than the Silic goddess who gave both birth and death and so encompass all blessings and misfortune at once. You see that? Christian apologists insisted on a God who was all good, all pure, un uninvolved with un ordinary matter, and, ca and incapable of evil. So out of bits and pieces of the old pagan deities, they created a devil to account for the world's obvious evils, pretending that they pretending that their all good God had actually created him. An insuitable paradox to this day. Instead of facing up to death, illness, natural disasters, and other vicissitudes of fate, they could blame such things on the devil and woman, even though some were called, quote, acts of God. You see that? So, the word devil, the word devil comes from the Sanskrit word Devi, meaning goddess. So, the devil is a woman. When you break the word apart, El and Devil, that's a woman. 
and the, and and look at this. Check this out. When you go to this book right here, called the Book of Yahweh. Check this out. The Book of Yahweh. Right. Check this out. Check this out. We go right here to Amazon. The Book of Yahweh. Right. Check this out. Look what they have here. Let's see here. One second. Okay. Let me go to them out. Let's scroll down here. Okay, give me one second. That I just looked at it a couple days ago. Okay, so like in here in the book of Yahweh, they have Satan as a woman. You can look this up on your own. Let me see if I can go to another. But yeah, you can look this up on your own. They have her in there as, a, as a woman. They have Satan as a woman. All right. So now we're going to go here to... So we notice the word devil comes from the Sanskrit word Devi, and it means goddess. Okay? Now, we're going to go here to... um. Uh, we're going to go here to the word... Check this out. We're going to go right here to the Eye of Horus, right? And when you see this, all right, you see that? Okay. So let's read that. Let's let's see what they're, what, what are they doing when they make that sign? Eye of Horus. The old Egyptian symbol known as the Eye of Horus is rather incongruously perched on the great seal of the United States and on every U.S. dollar bill. The reason seems to be that the designers of the great seal were strongly influenced by Freemasonry, which had adopted a number of Egyptian religious symbols, this, this among them. So when, you, so when you have the word Mason, right? And you break the word apart, right? Okay. So, this is my mother and son. So, if you are Mason, you are the son of the mother. And who is the mother? The creator, the creatures. She's she's the she's the creator of all. Let's keep on going. It says the eye within a pyramid originally represented the God enclosed during his quote dead period awaiting rebirth. He was entombed in the underworld, thus becoming seeker, the hidden one. Lord of Death, Osiris as the mummy, the perfect son, the steel heart. Nevertheless, his soul remained alive and watchful as indicated by the open eye. Parallels from southern east uh, parallels from southeastern Asia might be found in the Bindu or life spark within the triangle of the goddess womb, and in the open quote third eye of the Hindu gods while their other two eyes were closed in their periods of death-like sleep. So, it says here that the 
that this triangle with the eye is talking about the woman. Okay? It's talking about the woman. Okay. Now, we're going to look up the word right here, goddess. It says, recent research has established the primacy of the goddess figure in human thought as the direct outgrowth of the primacy of the mother in every, every individual ex experience. And also because biological fatherhood was unknown until fairly late in the development of civilizations. Though male scholars still use the term gods for the supreme creative deities of prehistory and myth. It has been shown that the creative power in all the oldest tradition was female. Egyptians said the primeval sea womb was the goddess Nun or Nunet who gave birth to the sun and all the gods. So when I did my when I did that first video on the second N word, the only thing that I had to do by technicality in that first video was reverse the roles. Okay? Change it from male to female. Now check this out. Let's go to this word right here. Manas. Okay? Manas. It says the old runic sign Manas stood for quote humanity, which male scholars naturally call man. Listen to this. But in the original Old Norse, man meant woman. And the humanity in the generic sense of woman created or woman born people. The gift of the moon, mother, mana. You see that? Are you, are you, are you hearing this? Now, we're going to go here to um one second okay I'm gonna go here that's the thing you you all don't read nothing now check this out so in the Bible they give all these names for the angels, right? But check this out. Angel. Angels were originally female. The dispensers of bliss, who were every man's notion of the perfect reward in heaven. Every desirable, every willing mistress of those blessed souls who are reborn into in, uh, into endless heavenly world. You see that? Um, let's see here. Okay, give me one second. Okay, so it says that angels were originally female. So in your Bible, or in the Quran, if you have, if you, if they are saying that the angels are, are male, the lion, the angels were originally female. And who changed it around? The man did, the patriarchs. Listen to this. Angels were masculinized, however, in the patriarchal tradition with its ascetic rejection of women and sexuality. Biblical angels were not only male, they were even as subject as mortal men to the wicked, quote, wicked temptations of mortal women. According to patriarchs, I mean, it says, uh, 
according to the testaments of the 12 patriarchs, the fallen angels were those who had been seduced by earthly women. The book of Enoch also mentions the women who quote, who quote, led astray the angels of heaven. Yet one wonders how this might be managed. If all angels resemble to the two who allegedly presented a Christian scripture to the learned church father Hippotolus in the second, second century AD. They were each 96 miles high with feet 14 miles long. Even the seduction of King Kong by a human actress the size of a, by the size of his finger would seem unremarkable by comparison. The association of mortal female sexuality with, with angels apparently arose from the fact that the angels, angels or cherubim, Akkadian caribou and Hebrew cherub were priestesses, were priestesses who wore artificial wings and token of their affiliations with the, with the heavenly, heavenly spirits. So angels were female. Okay, now I want to go to it. I want to go to something else. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Uh, I'm trying to help you all out. These niggas don't read nothing. So we're gonna we're gonna type in here. We're gonna type in here. Okay, we're gonna type in here, uh, devil horns. See, the celebrities know what this stuff is. They're not obligated to tell you a damn thing. They don't have to, they don't have to tell you nothing. Like here, you have here Rihanna doing the devil's horn. You have Beyonce throwing up the triangle, right? We're gonna get into that. I'm gonna tell you what that truly is, so you don't have to be spooked out, spooked out anymore. You see how covering the, the eye, the left eye, the eye. We just, we just wrote, we just read about that, the eye. So, so right here, she's covering up the eye, right? So it says here, right here, human beings react strongly to representation of the eye. One reason that has been cited is the vital importance of eye contact between eye contact between mother and mother and infant immediately after birth and as an aid to establishing the bond that will ensure that will ensure the infant survival so many ancient traditions identified the birth giving goddess with the all-seeing eye that there might well be an archetype archetypal connection in egypt the universal mother word Ma was both the name of the goddess and a hieroglyphic eye. The name of the goddess, the, the name of the uh, Gallic sun goddess Sulis was related to the Su, Suli, Suel, and I. The same word meant a hole, like the eye, in a strap or a whirlwind. You see that? I'm gonna drop down here. It says because the eye of the goddess was often the eye of judgment, patriarchal or men, societies feared it and tended to describe it as the evil eye. So you Negroes are on here, on here saying that when they throw the pyramid sign up and the and the eye, he says evil. But the celebrities know what that is. That's the woman. That's the womb. See, you niggas need to let go of that patriarchal male, male egotistical bullshit. Let's keep on. Let's drop down here. The evil eye was generally the left or female 
one medieval europe greatly feared the powers of the evil eye attributed to witches but men and even clergy could have it too pope pius the ninth was so, was so notorious for possessing the evil eye that women when kneeling for his blessing would hide their hands and the folds of their skirts to make a countersign to avert the evil now let's go here to the devil's horn so you see her throwing up the devil's horns right all the celebrities throw up the devil horn sign right you see them all doing it right so what are they actually doing okay what are they actually doing we're gonna type in here Celebrities doing the devil's horn. Everybody's doing it, right? Everybody doing it. Okay? Michael Jackson was even doing it. Okay, and I got a lesson coming on Michael Jackson. People just call him a pedophile and a rapist. Oh, we're gonna break that shit down. We're gonna break that down. Alistair Crawley, he's doing the devil's horn, okay? So what is what do the celebrities know that you don't know? So we know that the devil comes from the Sanskrit word Devi, and it means woman. And who was in the book of Revelations? The woman, the serpent, right? Okay. They thought that she thought the devil's horn. So what is she actually doing? You see Snoop. Snoop's doing it. So what do they know that you don't know? Because you don't read a goddamn, you don't read shit. So let's read it. Devil's horn, here's a sign right here. Devil's horn, this is what they're doing. This is what they're throwing up, the devil's horn, right? Now we just read, we just read, let me go back here again. Second, I have, I'm not even finished reading this book. One second. Okay. So, once again, devil. It says. This word devil comes from the Sanskrit word meaning Devi. From the Sanskrit word Devi, meaning, meaning goddess. Through Persian, Latin, Diva. Don't you women say I'm a Diva? Okay. So, devil comes from the Sanskrit word Devi, it means woman, the goddess. Now, we're gonna read here. What does this sign actually stand for when they do the when they do the devil's horn? Okay, let's read it. To make the devil's horn as a hand gesture, it's one of the oldest prophylactic uh, pro 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 signs supposed to avert the evil eye and uh, uh, placate, placate harmful powers. In some parts of Europe, it is still considered more efficacious, efficacious than making the sign of the cross. In antiquity, it must have represented an appeal to the horn god. Then in the Middle Ages, an appeal to the devil. We just we just wrote we just read that the word devil comes from the Sanskrit word devi means woman, who is often considered more influential in the earthly realm than God. The hand and the devil's horn position does bear a striking resemblance to the to the head of a horned animal. Perhaps even more pertinent to the uh, the diabolization of the gesture. 
However, it's the fact that it was once intimately associated with the goddess. With the goddess. In India, it is still sacred. The hand gesture, the mudra, which is a title of the goddess, meaning mother of the world. So when you see them throwing up this sign, this devil's horn, they're saying that the woman is the mother of the world, of everything. Damn shame, you niggas don't read shit. You don't read nothing, man. Now, <clears throat> we're gonna go here to this sign right here. Celebrities doing the doing the, the pyramid. What is that? So you have Jay Z. He's always throwing up the pyramid. He says it's the rock, right? Uh, Kanye West. He does it. A lot of celebrities. You see all of them throwing up, throwing up the pyramid sign. Denzel Washington doing it, right? Drake, LeBron James, Kanye West, right? Football players, they all, they all doing it, right? Okay. So let's let's go here. Now let me let me show you. This is sad, man. You niggas don't read nothing. Um, Beyonce, she's she's throwing it up. Okay. All right. Like like when they when they covering up the eye, they come they cover up the left the left eye the left hand the left <clears throat> the left hand path. Okay, so let's go here to the pyramid. Let's see, Jay Z doing pyramid hand gesture. Okay, so JG's doing it, right? All these people throwing, throwing the pyramid, right? Pyramid, they all doing it. Oh, it's evil. It's devilish. It's devilish. He's throwing up the rock. He's throwing up the uh, the devil horns, right? Everybody's doing it, right? So what is that? Okay, here's that same sign that they throw up. Right? Tyra Banks, she's doing it. It is right here. The Yoni sign. The Yoni sign. And it says, see that? Yoni sign. Sometimes used today as a gesture of greeting or bene uh, benediction amongst feminists. The Yoni sign was an occult secret for a long time. What's occult? Occult means hidden. So this, this, this symbol right here that they're throwing up has a hidden meaning. But we don't read nothing. You assume and say it's devilish and it's demonic. You don't know what they're, what they're doing. So you have a real nigga like me come on here and read the same information that you can read. And I read the comment section. You all say, oh, I had that book a long time ago. Well, if you have the book, if you have the books that I read, why don't you make videos like me and put the <clears throat> and put the information out there? Don't just keep it to yourself. Okay. So, um, let's see here. So we're gonna look up the word. We're gonna look up the word occult. Okay. We're gonna look up, look up the look up the word occult. 
See, when you niggas, you niggas don't read, and you thought you going you thought you were gonna get some get some superpowers on the 21st, shit never happened. You wanna know what makes you a threat? How you become a threat? It's by reading. The knowledge, the, the, the amount of knowledge you, you obtain. So the amount of the, the the amount of knowledge that you obtain by reading, you become a, a dangerous threat. Because if a, if a conversation ever came up on any particular topic, you should be able to counteract with whoever you're having a conversation with to back up those arguments and claims. And then the person who you are uh, co- uh, conversing back and forth with, they say, oh man, he knows too much. We need to get away from him. So a cult, a cult, right? We want the etymology of the word, the root. Okay. It says conceal, right? A cult. Comes from the Latin word, it means hidden, concealed. Okay, so let's read it. Once again, Yoni sign. Sometimes used today as a gesture of greeting or benediction amongst feminists. The Yoni sign was a was an occult secret for a long time. Like the meaning of the of the cowrie shell, its meaning was deliberately obscured obscured in a culture that viewed any reference to the female genitals as unthinkably obscene no matter how abstract or esoteric it might be the yoni sign survived however and now represents a symbolic invocation of female power so this this pyramid sign the rock this is the sign of the yoni this is the woman's vagina this is the womb. Let's go here to. Let's go here to. Um, let's see. Here. Okay, just read. Let's go to page forty-five. See if you if you're following someone, if you are, are you, if you are subscribed to someone, and they never come out bringing books out for reading purposes for for verification of, of where they get their sources from, you need to you need to unsubscribe from them because because nobody is born into this world with a book strapped to their ass. Okay. Um. Okay, I want to read one thing to you. I'm going to break down the movie um, The Last Witch, Witch Hunter. Okay? It says Oracle. It says the Oracle is like the movie The Matrix. The Oracle, the Oracles were, were the ancient world's, common, <clears throat> world's ancient world's combination of counsel, counseling center, holy place, fortune teller, op- opinion shaper, school of prophets, school for prophets, dispenser of medical and political advice, and point of contact between a human and the divine. It says, needless to say, control of the oracles was essential to the control to control of public policies. There, therefore, with the event of patriarchy, uh, uh, with the event of patriarchy gods, promptly took over the oracles formally, dedicated dedicated to the worship of the goddess, the woman. See that? Now. I want to read something to you real quick. We're going to go here to the word. Okay, so here you have the word menorah, right? Here's the here's the candlestick, right? And you're going to see here that the it says here that the earliest known rep, uh, representation of the menorah appears on the Ark of Titus erected in Rome, 82 A.D to uh, com- commemorate the fall of Jerusalem and the public dis- display of his temple of his temple furniture in the emperor's triumphal procession the bible gives very detailed dist- directions for manufacturing a gold menorah for the temple 
right? And it goes into all this stuff, right? And we're going to drop down here. And it says here that, um, let's see here. It says the seven, the seven lights probably were intended to represent, quote, the days of creation since they were usually lighted one at a time on seven successive days. Listen to this. But oddly enough, the golden flowers, knops, and almonds, and almonds were recognized were recognized female symbols throughout the Middle East from pre-biblical times. Later occult traditions associated the menorah with Hebrew archangels of the seven celestial spears, which were originally female spirits like the seven Hathars. You see that? They were listed as Michael the sun, likeness of God, Gabriel the moon, strength, and such and such and such, whatever. So the menorah is talking about the, about the woman. Now we're going to go here to... We're going to do something real quick. So we go here to the movie called... Um, the Last Witch Hunter. I don't want to. I don't want to play the video because I'm gonna get. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get copyright strike off YouTube. Okay. So yeah, feel the, the movie, The Last Witch Hunter, right? And it says, uh, "Last Witch, Witch Hunter." Uh, let's read this. So it says here, "The Last Witch Hunter," and Ben Diesel is playing a. Uh, when you, if you've seen the movie, he plays. He plays a Viking. We know that the, that the that the Vikings, the original Vikings, were black people. Okay. So it says here that this is a plot, right? It says 800 years ago, the witch queen unleashes the black plague to wipe out humanity. A band of knights, all right? We know that the Arthur, King Arthur, and the knights round table were black people. Okay. Okay. Um, a band of knights, including a widow, uh, uh, Calder, whose family had died in in, uh, in the plague, storms her lair, and in the ensuing battle, Calder manages to, to defeat her before dying. I mean, uh, to defeat her before dying, the witches, the witch queen, curses Calder with eternal life. In the present day, Calder prevents a teenage witch, uh, Brown, from un uh, unintentionally destroying an airplane with weather controls ruins and ruins stored in her luggage. So, how did he get immortality? Because she gave she gave it to him. If you if you read the plot and you see what's going on in the movie and things like that. Okay, so yeah. So uh, she gave him, she gave her, uh, him his uh, her powers in the movie The Last Witch Hunter. That's how he came uh, became immortal. Now I say I say that sin. If Moses climbed Mount uh, Sinia to meet the resident God, then the God he met would have would have been the moon God, Sin. Who had become enthroned on that mountain since the rise of Samaria, and gave his name, and gave his name to it. In fact, Sin gave his name to the whole Sinian Peninsula, formerly the land of Sinim, uh, uh, or the land of Lunar Mountain. The original Yahweh was only another form of this primitive lunar deity in, of Arabia. Sin became part of the Babylonian Trinity along with Shamash, the sun god, and Ishtar. Right? The symbol of sin shows a mountain crowned by the moon's horns with a shaft reaching the underworld, the whole somewhat resembling a stylized tree. Sometimes the moon crowned tree was also an emblem, an emblem of the goddess whose sun Consort sin was in the usual fashion of Mesopotamia divinities. Um, 
So when the, when those can't when you when you when you read the Bible, and you talk about the the feast days, the new moons, and Sabbath days. Well, the moon. You going when you going off the calendar, and you trying to keep the feast days and Sabbath days, all that shit or whatever. What are you going off of? The moon. But the, but now now you have a contradiction, because the moon is a goddess. The moon's a goddess. Now. Even on the show, this cartoon called The Regular Show, in the end, they go and meet who? The Oracle. And look, and in The Regular Show, look who they have playing the Oracle. A black woman. And she knows all. Right? So when you click on this, I'm gonna mute it, I don't wanna get copyright strike. All right, there you go. Ain't this the same from the Matrix? She's telling them, telling them their life events. She's the Oracle in the Matrix. See? Okay, so let's go here to the word moon and then I'm gonna cut my video off. So how can people say, you know what I'm saying? People have the name of women like Kali, Kali Ma, Kali Ma and things like that. That's the woman, man. And if you talk shit about the woman, about the moon, come on, man, what kind of shit is that? You, you, you contradicting yourself. We're gonna go into the word moon. All right. Um, moon. Okay, let me read this to you. Milky Way, quote, the rib of stars created by our edge on the view, on view into the central portion of the, our galaxy was seen as a river of sparkling life-giving goddess milk by ancient civilizations. Egyptians saw it as the outflow from the udder of the heavenly cow. Hathar or Isis in her bovine form. What is a what is a bovine? A cow, with her legs planted at the four corners of the earth. Right. The word galaxy com itself came from Greek gala, meaning mother's milk. So we talk about the the we talk about we on uh, we live on a ga we in a galaxy the Milky Way the Milky Way galaxy. That's come from the Greek word gala, meaning mother's milk. The four rivers of paradise were often identified with four, with four streams of milk from the four texts of the moon, cow, in North mythology. She existed before, before every other creature and gave nour, nourishment to the world. The rivers of paradise were copied into the Bible as streams emanating from the garden to the four directions. Things like that. Now, we go to the moon. Right, it says perhaps no other natural object has been more widely revered from such extremely ancient periods than the moon. As a whole, as a rule to new or crescent moon was its a, a recognizable, a recognized symbol, because the full moon would have been a simple circle, which carried other connotations frequently solar. Because of its apparent connection with, with the one, with woman cycles of lunar blood, which was supposed to give life to every human being in the womb, the moon became the prime symbol of the mother goddess everywhere. The Greek name of Europa, mother of uh, con uh, continental Europe, means full moon and was a former title of Hera as the white moon cow and of other birds of the goddess as well, such as the Mother or the Meter and Ashtar, Astarte. Albion, the old name of Britain, meant white moon, 
and referred to the goddess under the under until the monk Gildas converted her into a fictitious male Saint Alban. You see that? So the moon is talking about the woman. And people on here saying that the moon is evil. And you people are subscribe to these folks that saying this saying this dumb stuff. Cause they don't read. They never pull out books. Where, where are their sources at when they when they say stuff like that? You all don't know, you just constantly just donating to these people. So look at the word bitch. Bitch. The female dog became a word of insult in Western civilization because of her ancient association with goddess, religion. Often the goddess herself was called the great bitch or her priestesses described themselves as her hunting bitches. Especially the priestesses of Artemis or Diana whose original people were the Alni hunting dogs. The nurse of King Cyrus the Great was a representative of the goddess as king nurses had to be at that time. You see that? Now, it was something else that I was about to say. It slipped my mind, but it'll come back to me. Okay? Uh, I wish it would come back to me. Um, okay, before I get out of here, I have another book I have at home. It's called The Field, The Quest for the Secret Force, The Quest for the Secret, Secret Force of the Universe. Right, and in the introduction, like the prologue, if you see here, it says, "Now they're doing all these, all these experiments." You know what I'm saying? Like Isaac Newton, all those people doing, doing experiments and trying to figure out where we live in, right? And it says that most fundamentally, they have provided evidence talking about these scientists that all of us connect with each other and the world at the very undercost of our being. Through scientific experiment, they had demonstrated that there may be such a thing as a life force flowing through the universe, which has variously been called collective, con collective consciousness, or as theologians have termed it, the Holy Spirit. What is the Holy Spirit in Hebrew? Ruach. And what is it? Feminine, the woman. I got I got too many sources to back up what I'm saying, man. So let's go ahead to the word chaos again. Chaos, the classical concept of chaos, defined what the world was before creation. All the elements mixed in a homogenized mass, neither fluid nor solid, neither hot nor cold. Nothing uh, differentiated from any anything else. A universe of no form. This was the stage of the great goddess, Tantric Sages, when she was the primordial ocean of blood, the generative womb of all, the deep, in her condition of, quote, dark formlessness, when she possessed all things and, poten and potentially only. Okay, we're going to keep on going with this word. So it says, Ruach is spirit. It's a feminine, right? And it goes on to say here under the, under the section of chaos, it says here that, uh, um, let's drop down here. It says here that, uh, um, the Hebrew Tihon, word Tihon, the deep mentioned in Genesis as the original condition of the universe was when it was without form and void and dark. But the spirit that originally floated over the dark waters of chaos was female. So in your Genesis, it's talking about the woman. It's talking about the woman. Now let's go here. In the word right here, womb. The holiest symbols of Paleolithic and Neolithic humanity, humanity were symbols of the womb, source of life, 
primary fountainhead of every creative process. The Sanskrit, the Sanskrit word for a temple meant womb. You see that? So we are in the matrix. We are in the womb of the, of the woman, of this, of this force or energy, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Okay. So we just ex we just broke down, exposed those. Uh, we just exposed those uh, so-called Illuminati hand signs, right? Um, let me see here. That could be easy trying to charge you all by the droves, by the hundreds of, hundreds of dollars just to make a video to break this stuff down. Cause you niggas don't want to read. Okay, so I think I did a, a good enough job. So once again, this book is entitled "The Woman's Dictionary of Symbols and Sacred Objects" by Barbara G. Walker. You know what I'm saying? I uh, hope you got something from this. Click subscribe, thumbs up, like the video, share it on your Facebook page, whatever you have. You know what I'm saying? As always, my videos are free of charge. You know, you can do the same thing I do. Break this stuff down so you don't have to be confused anymore. You know what I'm saying? You won't be left in the dark or whatever. You know, uh, somebody go ahead and upload this video. This is almost an hour long of material. Then I took out my, I took the time out of my busy schedule to read this woman's works to get you, to get you niggas out of that patriarchal, patriarchy mind uh, mind frame and come on back to the source the original of the woman the source of all life you know what I'm saying so you know I, I know a lot of you niggas was looking was looking forward to December 21st to, to get some superpowers do you, do you niggas know that they will blow this place up before some superpowers get so called get activated like people talking about these ley lines that's, that's built over the pyramids and all over the world and things like that. I got a, it's a video coming on that soon. You know what I'm saying? Stay tuned for that one. Also stay tuned for, uh, you know, we're going to break down these reptilian aliens. We're going to break that down. I'm going to tell you, show you that, who that's really talking about. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving you the information for free. I'm telling you what, what books to read. And you people come in the comments and say, oh, I, I had that book for a while. Well, if you had a book for, if you had the book for a while, why haven't you made a video on it? No way for me to come out and make some videos and say, oh, he's speaking the truth. I can be lying to your asses. I showed in my last video that when we say these so-called cuss words, like, get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? Those, that was somebody's original tongue, original language. That was our that was our language. So they have done reverse psychology. They have mind fucked you all, and say, "Oh, you can't curse around. Can't that's profanity. You can't say those words." Come on, man. They tricked you all. You know, you, they know you niggas don't read a goddamn thing. So uh, click subscribe, and I'm about to upload the video right now. Uh, this is um, celebrities hand gestures exposed. I just broke down all them signs of symbols that you all been looking at, saying they all oh, they devilish and demonic and things like that. When you saying the word devil, it comes from the Sanskrit word Devi, and it means goddess, the woman. So you're talking about yourself, woman, female. When you say, "Oh, Rihanna's doing a devil sign. She's doing a she's doing a devil horns, the goat. She's doing the devil horns." Rihanna, Beyonce, Rihanna and Beyonce, they all know what this stuff is. They don't gotta tell you a goddamn thing. They're not obligated to, to, uh, to tell you anything. Just because they black, they're not obligated to teach you. To, to, they're not obligated to tell you anything. They don't got to tell you anything. Uh, uh. I'm telling you what books to get. And you niggas still won't read. You want anything spoon spoon fed to you? I'm not spoon feeding you. I'm not gonna spoon feed you shit. 
See, they all they all doing it. All of them doing it. They know what this they know what this means. They mo they know what this means. They don't gotta tell you what it means, but they know what it is. See? Prime Minister, he's doing it. They know what this stuff is. It's the woman. It's the womb of creation. The mother. The great mother. Not this old matriarchy bullshit they got going on in the world right now. Everybody's doing it. Oh, all this Illuminati. They sold, they sold, they sold, they sold. Look at Jamie Foxx. He's doing it. Just, just told you what that word stands for. With that being said, man, I say peace to you.